What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Yesterday at Errol Spence uh, Media Workout, uh, his trainer, Derek James, made some interesting comments, to say the least, about Terrence Bud Crawford. He said that Terrence Bud Crawford doesn't deserve a fight with Errol Spence. He says top rank, his promoter, has done a horrible job promoting him. He says uh, Terrence Bud Crawford is number four on top rank's depth chart. He says uh, Tyson Fury is number one, Vasily Lomachenko is number two, and Jose Marirez is number three, and, and Terrence Bud Crawford is number four. So he said, how are we going to go over there and fight the number four fighter uh, and uh, think he's going to be on our level? He says, no way. He don't deserve to fight. He said he skill skill wise, yes, he's one of the best fighters out there. Skill wise, and you know his resume and stuff of that nature, he deserves a shot at uh, Errol Spence. But notoriety wise, he doesn't deserve it. He says his last uh, fight on pay per view did ninety eight thousand. I'm gonna do a little fact checking on that. I'm gonna tell you that's not correct, but he is right in the aspect that uh, Terence Bud Crawford pay per views have not done as well as uh, Errol, Errol Spence's uh, pay per views. But it didn't do ninety eight thousand. It's uh. It didn't do 98,000. It did more than that. If he's talking about the uh, con fight, now if he's talking about the postal fight, you know he's actually giving them too much credit because uh, he, I think uh, the Terrence, Bo Terrence Crawford Victor postal fight, which was Terrence Crawford's first first pay per view. A lot of people probably forgot about that because you know <laughs> the fight. It was a unification fight at light light welterweight. It was in Las Vegas and it did around 50 to 60,000. That's how much it did. Now his fight with Amir Khan did 120,000. Uh, Chance Buzz Crawford. Now, Errol Spence's uh, fight with Mikey Garcia, uh, that's another thing um, Derek James said. He said uh, that uh, Errol did a fight with Mikey and he did 400000 I don't think it did that much. I thought I think it did around 360000 So if you rounded it off, I guess you can say around 400000 but it actually did 360000 And we'll see what the fight against... Uh, you know, Showtime Sean Porter does. You know, I, I'm thinking if I had to guess, I think that fight would do around three hundred thousand. But back to what um, Derek James said, man, he just basically said uh, Chance Crawford don't have the notoriety to come to the table. And this is what I've been telling you guys all along. People have been kind of overlooking this, but they starting to come around to it. That's going to be a major, major issue in negotiation between Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford. Because Terrence Bud Crawford just the other day said he was an A side. If he's saying he's A side, I mean he's supposed to get at least sixty percent, at least get the majority of the uh, pay per view. I ain't gonna say at least sixty percent, but if you the A side, I mean you're gonna have to command at least fifty one percent of the purse for you to be the A side. Fifty one forty nine, I mean you're getting the most of the purse. You're getting the uh, high end of the purse. Well, you're getting more than your opponent getting. I ain't gonna say the high end, but yeah, that, that would classify as you being the A side, getting uh, fifty one or more percent of the purse. And uh, that's what he's saying. And uh, I think uh, another thing that's got Derrick James. Uh, a little bit, uh, I ain't gonna say upset about it, but kind of bringing this out to light, bringing it to the public's eye, is uh, you, as you know, a couple of days ago, Bo Mack, uh, Terrence Crawford's trainer, said that um, Errol Spence was average. He said he, he was average. He was an average fighter that was just big. Basically, what Bo Mack said, I'm paraphrasing. He basically said that he said he had good fundamentals and stuff like that, but he's basically said he's he's an average fighter that's just big. And I don't think Derek James took too kindly to those uh, remarks. So he come out and said, okay, you want to talk about somebody being average? Let's talk about your car, client being basically uh, a nobody. You know, not worth not worth our time as far as notoriety goes. And that's what uh, Derek James said, man. I think he was just uh, well, touche. As you say, touche. That's basically what uh, Derek James did, man. He kind of, you know, came back with a counter punch to what Bo Mack said about uh, Errol being an average fighter. So I think that's what this is all about. But they do have a point. when they, If they do come to the table, uh, Team Spence and Team Crawford, uh, it's going to be kind of hard for, for uh, Crawford to accept being the B-side because I, I guess he thinks he's, you know, he's higher ranked on a pound for pound and he thinks he's got a title and Errol's got a title. It should be uh, – at worst case scenario for him be 50-50. But if you look at the numbers, Errol's doing better pay-per-view numbers than uh, Crawford did. Crawford hasn't done over 120,000 pay-per-views. That's the highest he's done. That was against Amir Khan. Errol's doing 360, three times that. So, you know, he can actually command a lot. He can actually come to the table basically saying, okay, I done made three, my pay-per-view done three times more than yours. Let's We're going to do 70-30 based on the numbers. He could do that. But I think Errol would probably, and his team would probably willing to go down to 40, 
for uh, Crawford and 60 for him, 60-40 deal in Errol Spence's favor, I think they'll be willing to do that. And if they offer that, I think Terrence Crawford's got to take that, uh, take that deal, man. You know, you beat him, and then in the rematch, then you the A side, you can call the shots. I think that's what uh, Terrence is going to have to do, man. But if he comes in thinking – that he's not going to be – he thinks he's getting uh, belittled in the negotiation and, and, you know, they, and if they, they, there's no way he should be making less than what Errol's making. If he comes in with that attitude, the fight is not going to get made. But uh, that's basically what uh, Derek James said in this uh, media call. Uh, well, I ain't going to say media call. This media – when the media was there promoting the fight coming up this Saturday, they had the media day there at uh, Errol Spence's uh, place that he trains. And uh, that's a, that's some of the things that uh, Derek James said, man. He says uh, he says uh, you know Terrence Crawford, a promoter, needs to do a better job promoting him. Basically saying he's number four in the depth chart, and uh, he really don't deserve a fight with Errol Spence based on notoriety. That's what uh, Derek James said. So that's some that was some bombshells he dropped. He dropped some bombshells today, and I think in, in partly it was responsible. It was, it, was, it was in response to what Bo Mack called an Errol Spence an average fighter that's big. So. Both trainers are dropping bombs, but hopefully the fighters will get in the ring. You know, I want to see the fight, but I know the business side of the, of the, of the, of the of the boxing, so I'm not uh holding my breath waiting on this fight to happen. A lot of people are predicting it's gonna happen in 2020, but it's gonna boil down to will Terence Crawford accept a less than 50-50 deal. If he do, if he if he if he, if he refuses to accept less than 50-50 deal, then the fight's not gonna get made. It's just as simple as that, because no matter. How, you know, it's like this fight coming up, Errol and uh, in Porter. You know, a lot of people say, well, let's see what he do uh, outside of uh, Mikey Garcia, because a lot of those people that bought the pay per view was Mikey Garcia fans, and all that, most of those fans at the uh, AT and T Stadium, forty seven thousand over forty seven thousand fans in attendance. Well, most of those fans were Mikey Garcia fans. So let's see the attendance at Staples Center, because this is clearly a uh, Errol Spence uh, Junior show. Fighting uh, show, uh, Sean Showtime Porter, he's clearly the A side. Let's see how many pay per views he did. If he does anything over 120, that's that's the highest that uh, Terrence Crawford has ever done in a pay per view fight. If he do anything over 120, then uh, he's gonna command the bigger purse in the pay -view, in the fight between him and uh, Crawford. He's gonna he's gonna command the bigger purse. He just got to do 120,000 and one. Which you know I know he's gonna do more than that. He do 120,000 and one, 121,000. He's gonna he's gonna command the uh, bigger purse based on that and based on what he did against Mikey Garcia, you know. Terrence Crawford was the clear A side in the Victor Postal fight. They did fifty sixty thousand. Him and Amir Khan, he was A side in that fight, you know, and uh, did one hundred and twenty thousand. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens, man. But Errol's, Errol's done three sixty, and his next fight, if he does anything over one twenty, he's gonna command the bigger purse in the fight with him and uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. I'll be uh, breaking the fight down next week, giving you my prediction and analysis on the Errol Spence Jr. versus Sean Showtime Porter pay-per-view fight coming up this Saturday, and we'll see what happens. Uh, hit me up on the Instagram, JB Sports 713 Hit me up on the Twitter, too, and uh, JB Sports. The man. Hit the bell icon button and help promote this video, help promote my channel. Hit the thumbs up button. And, uh, and and leave your comments in the comments section. And see what you see what you say about my video and my analysis on Derek James. Uh, basically saying Terrence Crawford don't deserve a fight with uh, his uh, fighter in Errol Spence. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend, and I holler.